so hello everyone today I will show you <clears throat> um, uh, how to create material master record so today we are uh, doing the case integration integration case study PP SAP ERP 6.0 so let me show you one thing so uh, we first of all we have to log into the system so I will log into SAP ERP 6.0901 in either system and either system is offered by SAP as you know uh, for educational training purposes so here is our login window so I will choose as a client number 901 and my user ID is my last name Mahmood and then the password in language you can choose English German French and Russian so I will choose English and then press enter or this left hand corner the screen check mark so right now I'm in the SAP easy access menu so I would like to and that my aim is that uh, to create today the material master record so let me uh, let me let me go to met uh, go to logistics and from logistics I will go for material management and from material management I will go for material master and then material and then I would like to show you in change so change immediately I will select because before I have created already this um, one material named with Imam motorcycle Mahmud so let me click on this green check mark again to, to enter in the system so here I have chosen from the view as you know views are the department uh, department of a companies so let me let me show you here like here is like basic data one two and uh, I'm creating the um, finished product so therefore I have to select all the sales sales organization one two and the sales general or plant data and all the MRPs I have to select and work scheduling accounting to and costing to so I have chosen all the views which I need for my material master record so then let's I select it as a default setting and then I um, continue with this green check mark so you see here that it has shown the the plant so I am working with the plant Hamburg 1000 maybe you can select by clicking on this button and storage location is 0001 sales organization 1000 and distribution channel 10 so everything is okay which I needed so then I continue with this by entering with this green check mark and then I need basic data one first so I have choose uh, choose base unit of measure PC it pieces and then I choose the material group division and then I entered again so here you can see one important thing this this one is our material ID and in the beside this one is a description field so you see if you put your cursor in this field then you can see here that one uh, little uh, yellow message popped up and here written material description short text so you can write your material description as you want so if you are done with this basic data too as you know I am following the case study which is providing by uh, SCP UCC and the case is integration case study PP so here <clears throat> as you know you see here in the top that I'm changing the material because I put all the 
data before so therefore I don't need to put again the data here so let's move on so I am now right now in sales organization one so here you need again the basic unit of measure division which which all the data is already mentioned um, in the case study so material group is very important as you see that we are going to manufacture a motorcycle so therefore our material group is mechanics so I have selected as a text classification is a full text you see here so let's move on and click again and then uh, I am now sales organization 2 I think those values for uh, let's say for item category group those values are uh, uh, the system takes automatically so you don't need to put or change anything here and in the sales general plant you see here the basic unit again PC gross weight and um, and the availability check so some data you need to put here again and then MRP1 again you need to put like basic base unit of measure MRP group MRP type uh, and then you see here MRP controller and um, lot size so and then press enter either you can press enter on your keyboard or you can use this left hand side in the in the top you see a green check mark you can click also here so and then procurement type I choose E maybe you can choose something different if you want but in our case studies mentioned in-house production therefore I choose E then click on enter again and production storage location here mentioned again this triple zero one and triple zero one is our material lager it's a German word right lager okay so in-house production is in scheduling part you see in in-house production we need 10 days and schedule margin key you need double zero one so we can enter again and uh, for period indicator M availability check zero one and total replenishment lead time is 15 days I have chosen so then again enter so here is nothing to input and then work scheduling so base unit of measure production storage location you need to put and um, in-house production time so let's enter again and put some data the total stock base unit and the standard price the price control as you see so here you have to put the uh, standard price manually once you put and you once you save you can't change this standard price anymore and then you can go for accounting too so there I will not gonna put any information so next in the costing part we will move on costing part again you need the base unit costing lot size here you see the base unit and this this base unit of measure it comes automatically and costing lot size one it also comes auto automatically but you have to check in here you see there is one um, um, uh, there is one field material origin you have to check in this material origin field if you are done with it enter again with this green check mark and then enter again so it, now your system says that uh, no data change do you want to exit the exit to exit this material so I would say yes because I know all the information so far I have given it's correct so yes so that's all about it means I have created my uh, first material master record for my motorcycle. So thank you very much. We will continue in the next part by creating semi-finished product.